So look what it is. It is my piece, it's done. And it looks beautiful. Uh, the paint is finally dry. Um, honestly, it should only take like maybe five minutes for it to dry. If, I don't know, check your window, see how the weather is outside and if it's sunny, I would suggest maybe leaving it out there for like 10 minutes just to make sure it's fully, fully dry. But if the weather is not so good, um, just let it air dry for like a few minutes and then the paint should be good, as you can tell. I have my paint on me, so it's dry. So now we're gonna use my little friend here. This is gonna be your best friend. I swear, it's gonna be your best friend for any project that you may have. Mod Podge. What is a Mod Podge? Either way, same thing. But, so this is a super gloss, um, and it's really important they use it because if you don't, um, the paint, like I said, I don't know if for whatever reason you don't have acrylic paint and you decide to use washable paint or some other tempera paint, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, it can wash off and it's gonna be really sad that all this hard work, this beautiful artwork paint, um, gets washed off. So with a clean brush, you're gonna wanna dip it. Look at this. Looks like a big booger. Ew. Oh, it's so ill. Anyways, with your brush, you just want to stroke it. Pretty much the same thing you did. And then you see how no pain lifted as I was adding this gloss? So that means it is fully dry. So I'm going to go back in, dipping it in the super gloss. Well, I can already see this beautiful, vibrant red. Wow, look at the difference. I don't know if y'all can see, but look. This is the red without the um, Mod Podge. It's kind of basic. And then here in the center, you can see how bright it is and vibrant because it's giving it a really nice, glossy look. And you're just gonna wanna let that bad boy dry out for a bit. I would say maybe 10 to 20 minutes. Um, and then, you know, something that I like to do, um, if you have a pencil or a marker on you, so with a pencil, you can do your initial. Oh, as you can tell, the back is not dry, but it's all right, because we can pretend we're engraving it. And then once it dries out, come back. Put my initials in there, so whoever gets it knows that I made it. And look, it's still glossy. So now, this is this was a pretty short video on how to do ceramics. You just did it. You did it. You did this and I hope you really liked it and I hope you really enjoyed it and had fun with me. And I'm sorry that I talk a lot, but I think you need to know all the tips and tricks on how to make something look really good, but most importantly, high quality, good quality in every aspect. Um, and something that's gonna last you for a really long time, mostly if you're giving it to a friend or your parents or anyone that you think may like a little art piece that you made. Um, and so with that, I just want to tell you thank you. And I hope you join me next time to see the next cool thing we're going to do. It may be an art thing. It may be a cooking thing. 